one of the owners of MA Orchards, which is in uh, situated in Divan Road in Timaru. And um, the orchard was planted in 2012, uh, entirely in Honeycrisp as a variety, and uh, the trees are starting to settle now, and um, we're being able to formalise the structure more to make management easier. So Honeycrisp was introduced into New Zealand in 1996, and several hundred uh, trees were grown, around 260 and distributed throughout New Zealand. Um, in 2001, um, the importers, which was Enza, decided not to continue with it as a variety. And those trees, uh, I'd been very interested in managing or in, in Honeycrisp for many years. And um, we, uh, I, I contacted the university uh, and they allowed us to grow a number of test trees so I went to those 200 trees and reselected uh, from about eight, um, eight bud sticks and grew the entire population of, of Honeycrisp in New Zealand from that. The, these, uh, these trees are on uh, Geneva 202 and they're at, I think, 3.6 by 1.5 metres. Um, um, how, now, this is a what leaf again? So planted in the winter of 2012, so... Um, going into the, this is the sixth leaf. Yeah. And uh, your yields? Uh, the yields uh, targeted at 80 tonnes per hectare, but the trees are a bit biennial, and I think they'll be running at about 60. Okay. We're about two weeks from harvest, so the full colour isn't through. But when I selected, I tried to select to, <coughs> excuse me, remove the striped strain and to and to stick with a more blushed strain, um, which was what we were told the marketplace actually wanted. Now you've got good height. Sure, but that's uh, the height is very very easy to now with these trees will be to make them calm and control vigour to get balance in the tree and regular production. Hmm. Now this is a fully netted field. Yep. Is it for pest control, for hail. for hail? Yeah, so there's quite a lot of hail in this area. Uh, not so much on this particular in on this particular site, but there's quite a lot of hail in South Canterbury because of the way the winds, the wind pattern, the meteorological mm -hmm. patterns work. So, um, so it's prudent with a very high value crop to protect for it. Bird protection is consequential but not primary.